Today's episode 10 of my regular feature where I share with you my latest purchases from the perfume parlour. I've got a whopping 8 bottle haul to go through with you today as well as also letting you know about an easy way to scent your home or office with your favourite signature scent uh, that I actually should have explained in my last video but by the time I got to the end of the video uh, a whole 10 minutes later I'd completely forgotten all about it so I definitely won't forget again this time. I think it's an age thing, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm losing my marbles. Uh, so to find out what's in this haul and which ones I'd recommend stay tuned to Mags Frag yes hello again everybody and thank you very much for tuning in to this special episode of mags frags i'm paul and this is the 10th review of the series that focuses on my latest purchases from the perfume parlor Coming up in today's episode, I've got four summer freshies to get us ready for the sunshine, uh, three that are just nice and spicy, and also a really lovely oud-based fragrance to see out the uh, rest of this year's colder months of the year. I've also posted the names and codes of all the perfume parlour inspired by fragrances of the brand that can't be named for legal reasons and that's down in the description, just in case you've uh, typed in the brand name on the website and uh, nothing's come up. But before I begin today's rundown, if you're interested in picking up any of these bottles that feature in today's video to try out for yourself, uh, you can use my unique discount code to get 10% off your first order, which I'll leave a link to down in the description. The link will direct you to a login page and you'll be asked to create a login name and a password, but once you've logged in and you've made your selections, uh, all your discounts will automatically be applied at the checkout. And as always guys, just a quick disclaimer, I don't work for the Perfume Parlour and this video is in no way sponsored by them in any way, so the opinions that you're about to hear today are my own opinions and all these bottles were purchased using my own money. I do however receive a small commission for recommending you to uh, visit their website, uh, so just by clicking on the link in the description you'll save your 10% uh, whilst helping the channel out and helping me to bring uh, some more free content to you in future. Okay, so the uh, first one that I'm going to talk about today, uh, we have a unique take on a summer fragrance and this one goes by the name of Coral Sky and the perfume parlour code on this one is 1601. This one is a copy of Orange Star Number no. 9 by Tower Perfumes. Uh, in the top notes in this one are Clementine and Mandarin Orange. In the mid we've got Lemongrass and Orange Blossom. And the base notes in this are Vanilla, Tonka Bean and Ambergris. Yes, so there's no prizes for guessing what this one smells like in the opening. And sure enough, you get a huge blast of sweet and juicy oranges. And the first impression I got from it was, wow, uh, this is like the most refreshing orangey opening I think I've ever smelled. But then there's these like conflicting notes in the base of sweet vanilla and tonka bean. And there's also like a muskiness from the ambergris. And all I can say is that this is just really weird. But personally, I think it's weird in a good way. Uh, but there's there's just going to be people out there that definitely hate on this one. And I could totally understand that too. This is a, a rarity in the fact that it's a niche summer scent that actually challenges your senses like so many cold weather niche fragrances do. It's a very unique and interesting take on the orange note. And it's not like um, Bulgari Aqua Amara that goes like all aquatic and salty. This is like one of those sweet flans with the mandarin oranges on top where you get the tartiness of the fruit but also the sweetness of the, uh, the, the cake base. I read a comment where someone describes it as like a thick orange puree which I, I can definitely understand. And this is one that I'd recommend you get a sample of because it's uh, so far away from your usual summer fragrances that are so predictable with your likes of your bergamot opening and woody dry down. The performance on this isn't the best as, it, as is the case with most fresh fragrances, but it's not terrible either. Uh, I just wish that the that juicy orange opening, uh, you get so much orange and juiciness in the opening, I just wish it would maybe stick around for a touch longer. But overall I really like it, it's really quirky and it's a wonderful uh, unique take on, on the, like a summer fragrance and I'm sure uh, I'll be wearing this quite often in the summertime. Okay, so this next one is called Great Achievement and the perfume parlour code on this one is 1610. 
This one is a copy of Rehab by Initio Parfums, which is a woody aromatic fragrance for men and women. The top notes in this one are lavender and bergamot. In the mid, we've got patchouli, cedar and vetiver. And base notes in this one are musk, sandalwood and guaiac wood. Yes, so when I sprayed this for the very first time, I wondered if the uh, perfume parlour had made some kind of mistake and labelled it up incorrectly because, to my nose, it smelled exactly like a particular designer fragrance that I already own. So I went on Fragrantica to view the comments section, as you do, and uh, I went on to the original rehab part, and sure enough, down in the comments, there was the confirmation I was uh, not going crazy after all. This is extremely similar to Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. So much so that I didn't even bother to test them side by side and if I smelled this one on someone I'd just think they was wearing Spice Bomb Extreme. Of course you've got all the hardcores on Fragrantica who have parted with £200 saying yes but it's better blended than the Spice Bomb etc. Uh, that's just a safe face but nah. This is uh, a Spice Bomb Extreme uh, clone to me and there's not much else I can really say about it. Okay, so the third one in this haul is a little bit more interesting than the last one. And this one goes by the name of Purple Cloud. And the perfume parlor code on this one is 0403. This one is a copy of Velvet Haze by Byredo. The top notes in this are coconut, hibiscus and bergamot. Uh, in the mid we've got osmanthus, tuberose and patchouli. And in the base, there's cashmere, patchouli, cacao pod, musk, and ambrette. This one is a soft and subtle scent with a bit of a dry dustiness to it. There's a small amount of coconut up top, uh, but it's not that prominent, and it doesn't really come off smelling like a suntan lotion. Even the coconut in this one is quite dry, uh, more like a, a desiccated coconut straight out of a plastic pot. There's a trace of the tuberose in the heart of the fragrance which has like a, a clean and slightly medicinal aroma but it's the amber in the base which brings a mild muskiness which comes off smelling like a, a smooth crushed velvet. Notes like the cashmere and the cacao pod uh, bring even more dreamy sweet smoothness and this has a very cosy and comforting scent character. I think it's perfectly unisex, uh, unisex but some guys out there may think it leans a, a touch feminine. It sits fairly close to the skin and after the two or three hour mark it's almost gone and you'd need to probably reapply it. It's a fragrance that whispers rather than uh, has a loud uh, and attention grabbing kind of shouty character. It's a very classy and elegant scent that I think could be great to wear as an office fragrance because it's very pleasant and even uh, if you went super heavy on the sprayer it's not the type of scent that would annoy anyone and uh, I really enjoy how this one smells and I'd highly recommend that you uh, give this one a try out for yourself. Okay, so enough of all that fluffiness and this next one is definitely one for the boys. Uh, this one is called Game Wood for Men and the perfume parlor code on this one is 1271. Yes, so this one is a copy of Supreme Oud by Ralph Lauren. The top notes in this are cinnamon and pink pepper. In the mid, we've got agar wood or oud. Uh, and in the base notes, we've got vetiver and guaiac wood. So this one is a stunning, sexy and masculine fragrance with a really spicy opening and a really soft and elegant oud in the heart of the fragrance with a, a fair amount of sweetness. This is the perfect gateway into like oud based fragrances because the note is prominent enough to easily isolate it but it's more of a mild western oud rather than the rich dense Middle Eastern ouds that you can sometimes get. The spices up top uh, add the uh, add the garnish and it's just like adding salt and vinegar to your fish and chips. It just gives it that final kick that you need in a, a perfect blend. And it's without doubt my favourite oud based scent and I really love how this one smells. It's gentlemanly and highly sophisticated and it has that retro intensity that you get from fragrances from back in the 1970s and 80s. The performance is on the lighter side for a fragrance of this type, but it's still uh, as good as any modern day designer fragrance uh, that you'll buy with like a decent projection and you'll get, I'd say, still six or seven hours of longevity out of it. If you are new to fragrances and you've never tried a nude based uh, scent in your, in your lifetime, then uh, this is definitely one that I think you should pick up and try for yourself. 
Okay, so this next one goes by the name of Slanted. And the perfume parlor code on this one is 1264. This one is a copy of Italica uh, from Zerzhoff. The top notes in this one are saffron, milk and almond. In the mid we've got vanilla and toffee. And the base notes in this one are musk, cedar and sandalwood. Right, so where do I begin with this one? Well, firstly, it's a sweet gourmand fragrance and everything centers around the note of almond. You've got saffron and milk in the opening and you'll have to bear with me on this one because uh, it's not anything nasty, but these two notes, the saffron and the milk, they produce an accord that resembles the kind of smell you get when you've got some a bottle of milk that's just about to start to go on the turn, but it hasn't quite curdled and it hasn't completely gone off. It's just a slightly sour milky smell up top, but then there's the sweet toffee and the vanilla in the heart of the scent, which weirdly just sweetens everything up and just balances everything out. And it, it, it makes it smell really interesting and pleasant, but there's definitely like a sweet and a sour conflict going on for the first half an hour or so. There's lots of nuttiness from the almond and it's quite a smooth and creamy scent with a syrupy sweetness. The further it gets into the dry down, it gets more like dessert-like with a, a bit more of a resemblance to something like a cherry bakewell tart. This is a unisex scent, but in my opinion, I'd say more women are definitely going to enjoy this one rather than men, even though I don't think it necessarily leans more feminine. It's an easy to wear fragrance with a playful sweetness and I really like it and it's also a pretty unique smelling scent so it's one that I definitely recommend that you, uh, you definitely pick up a, a sample of. Okay this next one is the absolute king of the aquatics and I was very interested to see how well the perfume parlour could copy it because it's such a distinctive and iconic smell. This one goes by the name of Italian Water for Men and the perfume parlor code on this one is 0992. This one is a copy of the legendary uh, Bulgari Aquaporum, the original from 2005. The top notes in this are Mandarin Orange, Orange and Pettigrain. In the mid we've got Cotton Flower, Lavender and Seaweed. And the base notes in this are clary sage, amber, woodsy notes, virginia cedar and patchouli. Yes, so if you want the deepest, saltiest aquatic fragrance straight from the ocean floor, then look no further than uh, Bulgari Aquaporum. The original is just awesome and in my opinion nothing comes even close to this one in terms of aquatic fragrances. It's a masterpiece that never ever seems to smell outdated and as you can see uh, I'm coming to the end of another 150ml bottle so I thought I'd give this perfume parlour version a go just before I splashed out on, a, on another bottle of this original one. And I've got to say the perfume parlor version gives it a good go and a good run for its money and I can definitely smell the resemblance to the original. However, it does just fall a tad short and there is a, a noticeable difference in quality, which I suspected that there might be. The perfume parlor version has more of a prominent soapy accord from the white florals, whereas the original has the bitter salty seaweed, which may sound a little bit horrible to some people who haven't smelled it, but trust me, it's delightful. You get orange up top and some amber and woodiness in the base, uh, but it is the seaweed that's the joker in the pack with this one, and the perfume parlor copy, I'd say is about 80% similar. The original is also better in, in the performance department, so I'd say on this occasion the original is possibly one of them few occasions uh, where I'd say it's worth paying the extra cash uh, and buying this one over the perfume parlour version and I'll probably be uh, placing my order for another one of these later this evening. Okay, so the penultimate one in this haul uh, goes by the name of Insight and the perfume parlour code on this one is 1642. This one is a copy of Imagination by Louis Vuitton, which is a citrus aromatic fragrance for men and women. The top notes in this are bergamot, orange and citron. In the mid we've got cinnamon, ginger and neroli. And the base notes in this are olibanum, guayaquud, ambroxan and Chinese black tea. So this is a bright, clean and uplifting scent with a sparkling citrusy opening and a box fresh soapy dry down. 
There's a hint of spice coming from the ginger and the cinnamon, but to my nose, this is all about the neroli, which is super clean and pleasant. The only thing that's not too pleasant about the original one of this is the price, and it comes in at a whopping £215 a bottle for a soapy citrus, which to me is far from anything special or unique. This Perfume Parlor version is excellent, and I've got to say that they do fresh Neroli based uh, base fragrances extremely well. This one reminds me of like just uh, the summertime, and it has a really happy, summery freshness to it. There's Ambroxan in the base, which gives it plenty of staying power, and a hint of like, a, uh, like some marine saltiness. And this is supported by the Olibanum and the Guayac wood, which brings some more woodiness and depth. This is a really nice fragrance and I highly recommend this perfume parlor version for the summertime. Uh, but would I pay £215 for the original? Would I heck? Yeah, and the final one in today's haul is one that really surprised me actually with how accurate and how well blended it is. This is called Cyan Vault um, and the perfume parlor code on this one is 1186. This is a copy of the 2021 release of La Nuit de l'Homme Blue Electrique um, and not the Eau Electrique from 2017, which has got a slightly different note breakdown. But the top notes in this one are bergamot, ginger and cardamom. In the mid, we've got geranium and lavender. And the base notes in this one are vetiver and cedar. Yeah, this is a great smelling fragrance and it's got it all. Spiciness, freshness, fruitiness, sweetness, every nest you can think of. And it's a wonderfully versatile fragrance that's bright, uplifting and easy to wear. The whole of the La Nuit de L'Homme line are predominantly all about the spicy notes of cardamom and ginger. Then each flanker kind of just brings its own accent, like the powdery iris note that you get in the Lintense version, or the winter berries in the Parfum flanker. This one, however, is very similar to the original La Nuit de L'Homme, uh, but it's just got a, a touch more intensity and brightness to it, so you get more of a blue uh, kind of fragrance feel to it. The performance is really good, uh, which is more than can be said on the original. Um, you do get, you're probably going to get seven or eight hours of longevity out of this with fairly uh, decent uh, projection for the first couple of hours. Um, this one's now discontinued. This version is discontinued 2021 uh, Blue Electric version. So I'd say pick up a copy of this and see what you think to it because it is very accurate to the original and definitely worth, uh, definitely worth picking up. Yeah, so just a quick summary. My two favourites out of today's haul are probably the orange star copy that I spoke about first and the copy of Zerjoff Italica because these are the two that are the most unique and quirky smelling which challenge your senses and they're both really interesting. The Supreme Oud copy and the Blue Electric copies are really nice and really high quality and the rest are just all really nice and decent smelling fragrances but they just don't stand out to me as much as the four that I've just mentioned. There isn't one that I, in this haul I actively dislike uh, but the most disappointing one is probably the Rehab copy from Initio Parfums simply because it's just too similar smelling to the uh, Spice Bomb Extreme from uh, Victor and Rolf. And as promised, I also purchased these four pots of uh, fragrance dust. So if you want to uh, scent your house or your office and make it smell like your favorite signature scent, you can pick these up for uh, between five and 10 quid, depending on which fragrance you buy. And all you do is you uh, take a few pinches, pinches of this dust and pop it in the uh, top of a tea light burner. And in uh, true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, and I don't I don't know if you can see this on camera, uh, but it's releasing like a scented smoke because the oil's burning off the dust. And it releases a huge amount of fragrance and it just scents your whole house. Uh, then when it stops releasing uh, all the fragrance, all you do is just simply tip that into a bin uh, so you don't end up with like a, a waxy mess like you do with the uh, wax melts. You can also mix and match a couple of different scents to make your own personal creation. So a nice cheap pickup and a nice little gift idea too if you tailor it to their uh, favourite um, fragrances or perfumes. I picked up these uh, four pots inspired by Bleu de Chanel, code 0061. 
Angel Share called 1804 and two Joe Malone ones which were copies of Pomegranate Noir called 0346 and Lime Basil and Mandarin called 0287. Uh, and I'd say that these three are really, really nice, but I'm not so keen on the lime basil and mandarin. Uh, and I've just placed an order for some more. So if you are interested, I'll let you know in the next video how I will get along with those ones too. Yeah, so once again, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Uh, but don't forget, I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new 2022 release. It's been out a couple of weeks now, but nobody really seems to be talking about it. And I think it looks quite nice. So uh, to find out which one I'm talking about, uh, don't forget to look out for that one. I've also got a couple more in the 365 project uh, and also a seven bottle haul from Superdrug. So some really good stuff coming up. And as always, guys, if you've uh, found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's always great to hear your, uh, your thoughts, your opinions, your critiques on all other fragrances that feature in these perfume parlor videos. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. And if you've got any uh, perfume parlor recommendations that you'd like me to feature in future hauls, then uh, please let me know. So once again, thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.